There's nothing like getting together with friends and watching some good old horror flicks to get you in the Halloween spirit. Of course, horror movies nowadays are a hit and miss with their audience, and it's hard to find great films with the constant release of sequels. I'm looking at you, Paranormal Activity 5! So, I figured I'd make a list of my own personal favorite movies I enjoy watching during the month of fear and recommend them to you. Of course, being these movies are my own personal opinion, I hope you'll go out and watch them and make your own personal judgment. And please, tell me what your own annual Halloween movie list involves in the comments. Without further ado, let's count down our top 10 horror movie recommendations. Number 10, VHS 2. Now before we even start this list, I will say I'm not the biggest fan of found footage movies, but some movies actually manage to pull off the medium quite well without making me feel like I'm going to lose my shit yelling at the screen to keep still. VHS 2 was one of those movies that I felt like found footage actually worked better to the presentation. The movie follows a duo of private investigators watching a total of four VHS tapes that contain some pretty interesting found footage. Each one is a completely different story from the last, so you're basically getting five horror films in one. I want to also mention each film has a different director, so if you didn't like, say, film 2, you might be a fan of film 3. All in all, it's definitely worth the watch. Number 9, Grave Encounters. So I'm sure you've seen the many ghost hunting shows in today's media. Most instances you're left wondering if it's real or not, or even staged. So it's no wonder a movie like Grave Encounters was made to kind of poke fun at the whole situation. The story follows a film crew capturing their next episode for the popular show Grave Encounters. But of course, being a horror movie, it turns into a full-fledged ghost hunt. I felt like the movie was actually rather well done, and the scares are less likely to jump out at you, but instead you're more engaged in the environment and what's actually taking place during the movie. Of course, the fact it did well in theaters meant it spawned a sequel, which was pfft, but the first film still stands to be a decent watch, so check it out, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Number 8, Harbinger Down. A little backstory on this next entry. So there's this amazing studio called Amalgamated Dynamics Inc. These guys made the practical effects for some of the most amazing horror movie monsters, like Alien, The Thing, and Tremors. With CGI dominating the special effects in movies nowadays, practical effects began to disappear, even though so much passion and work went into making these truly amazing works of art. So, the studio sought after making their own movie, using nothing but practical effects. That movie is Harbinger Down. The movie centers around a small ship called the Harbinger that stumbles across an ice chunk with some pretty questionable contents, and of course, it's not what it seems. You can tell just by watching the film that showcasing practical effects was the main focus, and boy do they look good. Terrifying and downright disgusting, but good. So if you're a practical effect nut like me, then you'll find this movie a breath of fresh air from the infamous CGI. Number 7, 1408. This movie, man oh man, what do I say about this title without sounding like a complete fanboy? 1408 was in my mind a thriller with the perfect amount of everything. Just enough scares to keep you on your feet with a plot and setting that works so well to get the audience interested. And the acting, my god the acting was amazing. The movie stars Mike, played by John Cusack, a horror author that goes from hotel to hotel writing about its urban tales of haunts and horrors. His next chapter is based on the room 1408 at the Dolphin Hotel, which has quite the dark history. The best part about this movie is Mike is alone for a good chunk of the film, and it's mostly him talking into a tape recorder, but John plays the role so well, you forget you're watching only one man on screen. I won't get too into it in hopes you'll go watch it for yourself, but make sure it's the theatrical release, not the director's cut. The ending in my opinion was way better, but that's for you to decide. Number 6, Cabin in the Woods. I know everyone raves about this movie, but I'm still meeting people to this day that have not watched it, and so that's why it's on this list. Now for those who have seen the movie, you already know what I'm about to say, but here it goes. Cabin in the Woods is awesome. When I first saw the trailer for this movie, I immediately thought this looks like another dumb horror film, but I was wrong. So very wrong. Without spoiling too much of the movie, I can say it starts like an average horror film, but then it takes a turn for the incredible. It pays homage to countless horror titles and some of the best and worst cliches. So what more could you really ask for? Give it a watch, I'm sure you'll walk away satisfied. Number 5, The Taking of Deborah Logan. I swear, this is the last found footage movie on this list. The Taking of Deborah Logan tells the accounts of a documentary team doing a film on an elderly woman suffering from Alzheimer's. Of course, it doesn't turn out like they thought. 
I will say this movie is an Exorcist-esque title, much like Exorcism of Emily Rose, but it puts a fantastic twist on the whole scenario and kicks the religion aspect to the curb to focus more on the plot, which is fantastic, and it's worth watching just to uncover the mystery associated with the characters. Great plot, great scares, great film. Give it a chance, you might be surprised. What horror movie list is complete without a good zombie flick? So I recommend Number 4, Shaun of the Dead. The movie already has a huge following, and I can say I'm also a fan of the Cornetto trilogy, so it's pretty obvious I would warrant a rewatch of this film every Halloween. For those who haven't caught the film yet, it centers around the adventures of two roommates dealing with the first day of the zombie apocalypse in their own foolish badass way. It's full of laughs, high action, and endless zombie killing fun. Always a must watch for every Halloween. But for those who have seen Shaun of the Dead, be sure to check out The Fantastic Fear of Everything, also starring Simon Pegg, or Cooties, another badass zombie comedy, just as funny and just as good. Definitely worth the watch. Number 3, Evil Dead 2 or Army of Darkness. When it comes to gore, a lot of movies play off the fact that it's literally just going to slash and gouge everything on the screen in hopes you'll walk away feeling awful about what you just watched. Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness say f*** that. This is hilarious. Even today, these classics are fun to watch. The quotes, the practical effects, and the whole presentation is so unforgettable, it's a Halloween staple. But if you're looking for something more scary, the 2013 Evil Dead might just be up your alley. Of course, this movie loves gore, because there's no jokes here, it's all turkey knives and nail guns from here on out, kitties. To get an idea of just how gory this movie is, they use 70,000 gallons of blood and 50,000 gallons on just one scene. That's insane, and totally worth the watch. Hail to the king, baby. Number 2, The Conjuring. Like most movies, a lot have that this is based on a true story insert at the beginning of the film. But we all know it's all based on fiction, except for The Conjuring, which was based off the accounts and footage of the famous paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. With most of the fear coming from little hints and horrifying buildup, I found this movie to be a better watch than most films that rely on jump scares. Even just clapping becomes a nightmare roller coaster. But I feel the best part of this film was definitely the fact it all may have taken place. With most movies you walk away knowing it was just a movie but this one has the biggest seal of this may have actually happened stamped right on the cover, which leaves everyone with a small shred of fear after they turn off the TV or leave the theater. With such a great backstory to the film, I felt it deserves at least a watch. Make your own conclusion. Was it fake or did it really happen? You decide. Before we get to number one, here are some movies that I recommend but didn't quite make the list. When I first made this list, I wasn't sure if I should tailor it to a newer movie selection or older classics. In the end, I stuck with newer movies, only keeping Evil Dead because it had a remake. But there's one movie that recently came out, but still feels like I'm watching and enjoying a timeless classic. That movie is... Number 1. It Follows Based off a nightmare had by director David Mitchell, the film depicts the struggles of a 19-year-old girl named Jay, as she takes on a curse that calls upon an entity only referred to as It which does nothing but follow her in hopes of claiming her as her next victim. The movie has amazing cinematography and heart-pounding moments with plenty to spare. Truly, it had a lot of work and passion put into it, which only made it better. I don't want to give away too much of this amazing movie. It's an experience, not a film in my opinion. Just the thought of some thing with no motivation just wants you dead and you have no means of asking for help or escape because it's eventually going to catch up. I better end it here or I will go into a long drawn out rant as to why I love this movie so much. So go check it out for yourself. It's a new classic for your annual Halloween movie ritual. It Follows is a must. So that's why it's our number one horror movie recommendation. Thanks for watching Dreambridge Top 10. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for new lists. And before you go, make sure you follow us on Twitch because starting this Friday, we'll be streaming nonstop for 24 hours, playing nothing but horror games with hourly prize giveaways. So join us this Halloween from the 30th to the 31st at 12 p.m. Mountain Time for awesome prizes and scary games. Until then, happy Halloween.